All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network. I wanted to show you guys a couple of new servos I got in here at the RC Network for a couple of projects I'm working on. I've been kind of messing around with some on-road vehicles, and I needed some differently specced servos. So I turned to high-tech and picked up two of these HS8330 SH servos. Now, these are a part of their new line of servos, the 8000 series, and these are part of their new high-voltage high resolution and ultra response digital circuit servo. That's a lot of words right there all in one sentence, but uh, definitely a cool servo, especially for an on-road application. Now the specs on this particular servo at 7.4 volts is going to be right about 0 0.07 seconds and with 181 ounce inches of torque, which pretty much you can use this in most short course trucks, uh, most on-road cars, 10 scale buggies, I mean pretty much anything that is around 10 scale, you can put this servo in and get some pretty damn good results. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We're going to take a look at what you get inside the box. And I've already mounted one in my HPI Sprint 2 Get My Drift project. So we'll take a look at that at the very end. We'll give you some real world quickness of that new 8330 servo. So inside the box here, you're going to notice a new sticker on this particular servo, and it says H25T. Now what that basically means is, you know, all the different servos out there have differently splined servo horns or uh, um, axles it rides on, and basically it kind of confuses a lot of people, just to say the least. When I first got into RC, I didn't know that you couldn't put a uh, Futaba horn on a high-tech servo. So high-tech has kind of uh, joined the ranks here, put on these new 25-tooth splined um, horns on their 8000 series uh, servos, which is pretty cool. They're they're kind of seeing the, the trend here and um, definitely addressing that. So uh, pretty much any anyone that's running a Futaba horn or even a Savox horn will be able to run it on this high-tech line of servos, the 8000 series. So um, let's take a look inside here. Flip side here, it gives you all the specs that we kind of already went over there. Of course, the box, and you know, there's some people that criticize me on mentioning the boxes it comes in, but I use these boxes for parts uh, storage, and like when I'm working on a car and uh, I, I have you know everything torn down, I want to I don't want to lose you know bits and pieces, so I throw it all in these little boxes. Definitely helps out, and I just label them with a sharpie, which is pretty cool. So um, inside here, you're going to see that nice servo. Uh, you can kind of see the glistening of that aluminum case there and it has kind of these little uh, cutouts here for heat dissipation of it and let's pull this whole thing out and see what we get inside the box and let's go ahead and pop this thing open and it looks like it just opens up there there we go set the servo to the side and let's see some of the supplement items and stickers, and these are some actually pretty nice stickers. They have that kind of gold metallic look to them, and kind of that flat black. So pretty, pretty nice. Uh, you know, kind of a different taste of stickers. Uh, here we get all the part supplement bags. So you're going to have some additional servo horns, some mounting hardware, uh, the little grommets right there to uh, you know kind of cushion your servo, the little brass uh, um, deals there just to uh, guide your screws in through the grommets. So it includes all that stuff. Right here, this is pretty cool, guys. This is actually a three millimeter bolt, and it actually has a hex on the end of it, which is pretty cool. So if you don't like those um, uh, Phillips hardware on your car, you can actually get rid of it and use this, which High Tech actually includes in the package. So now onto the servo, the uh, the 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 reason why we're all here. So very nice aluminum case wraps all the way around has the uh, cutouts right here for the heat dissipation, kind of like a heat fins on a ESC. And right here we're seeing uh, the high-tech badging right there, the 8330SH. This is a metal geared servo. And of course it has the badging right there, high response, super speed, which 0 0.07 seconds is nothing to uh, uh, you know discount at all. So very nice, super nice. The lead on this thing, I would have to estimate at about 12 inches, 
So you got a, a, a standard receiver lead, very nice quality wiring that they're using. It seems thicker gauge than what I've seen on uh, definitely a lot of RTR servos. So let's get on to the real world test. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the Sprint 2, fire that thing up, and show you guys how fast this thing really is. All right, now I'm back now, and I went ahead and got the HPI Sprint 2 Get My Drift Porsche out and uh, fired up my Spectrum DX3R Pro. Let's go ahead and uh, pull the body off just so you guys can take a look at how the servo mounted in there. Turned out pretty nice, uh, you know, went in pretty straightforward, nothing too, you know, uh, crazy as far as a servo installation. I have went ahead and I've set all of my endpoint adjustments and the travel and everything on the servo, got everything dialed in with my DX3R Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and start uh, turning this thing for you guys so you can guys kind of see there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the, uh, the wheel here in uh, the picture as well so you guys can kind of see how responsive this thing. Now with any digital servo, it's definitely going to have a little bit of background noise. And that's just the static that's caused by the servo always wanting to fire the, find that center point. So um, very nice. It's actually very quiet on the travel, which is nice. Definitely different from other servos I've tested. And we'll see here the exact speed of it. So definitely has very nice speed, uh, very nice movement, very smooth throughout the whole travel of the servo. You can kind of see there, as fast as I can move this thing, this thing is immediately changing direction. So very nice servo. I can't wait to get this thing tested out in not only this one, but also my DETC 410. So if you have any questions about this particular silver servo here, the HS8330SH from Hitech, um, definitely put it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.